What is up YouTube? It's your boy Judd. In today's video we are talking about my thoughts on Black Ops 3 and all that good stuff. <laughs> let, let me tell you about this game. This game, I've had more fun playing this Call of Duty than I have ever had playing AW. And I'm talking about competitive and all that. Like this game is just, it's great. Like I do really enjoy this game. Um. Did it live up to the hype? I think it is going to live up to the hype. I'm not going to judge it yet. It is It is on the same scale as Black Ops 2, I think. I do think it's on the same scale as Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 is a great Call of Duty. I'm not saying it's better than Black Ops 2 yet. Um, how long I can play this game and not get bored of it, that's going to determine like, like if it's better than Call of Duty, Black Ops 2. But right now, it is absolutely amazing. And I am just absolutely enjoying it. I love this game. I think I actually I think I'm gonna get a four piece here in a second, guys. I'm actually watching this in theater while I'm doing this commentary. So that is a pretty cool new thing added to Call of Duty. Well, it is in Black Ops 2, but it has returned and I absolutely love it. Very, very, very awesome. Oh, this is this is this is about to go down. There's three, there's four. Right there. Four piece. That's what I'm talking about. It's a shame I couldn't get a quad feed though. That'd have been nice. Um, but yeah, guys, I do, I do really enjoy this game. But let me tell you, the struggle is real. I don't, I don't know what it is. I just like to swap to AW to this. Like I love it so much more than AW, but I was just so much better at AW. I mean, like I'm having such a difficult time at this. I mean. Honestly, guys, my KD is is negative. I have a negative KD, and I don't really like it. It's something I do want to fix. Um, I have greatly, greatly, greatly improved in the last three days. Of like, I haven't gone negative in quite a few games. Quite all day today. I was playing it today and didn't go negative at all. So that that's really good. I mean, maybe one or two times. But I do greatly enjoy this game. I think this game I actually go 30 and 20. So not too bad. I'm having a hard I'm gonna have a hard time getting gameplays with this until I do get better. But I bought it for I actually have the game for both consoles. I bought it for just PS4. I thought I was just gonna be on the PlayStation 4. But this game was awesome. I was like, yo, I gotta play with my friends on Xbox One. So I bought it for Xbox One as well. So we are playing it on both consoles. But with that, like I keep swapping between controllers and this PlayStation controller Xbox is what I've always played so like my hands and my instincts my muscle memories are like adjusted to the um, Xbox controller and not only did I go from a whole different controller but on um, Xbox one I have a scuff you guys have seen it it's um I love that thing I do not have one for uh, Black Ops, I do not have one for PS4, so that's been kind of a struggle because I keep pressing the pedals that's not even there. As of as of my favorite guns in this game, because uh, someone did tweet me that I don't remember exactly who it was. If I find it, I'll put it up on the uh, put it up on the screen for you guys. But somebody want to know, Judd, what's your suggestions for guns? Well, honestly, I've yet to find a bad gun. I think every gun in here is very usable, unlike Advanced Warfare. Where if you didn't have the bow or the ASM1, you kind of couldn't compete. But definitely very usable guns in this game all the way around. But my favorite gun, you guys are seeing gameplay from it right now, is the VMP. I have quick draw, foregrip, and I think advanced rifling to it. And it's just, it's just the, it's like my go-to gun now. I mean, I've tried out other guns. I am going to, I'm going to stick this gun out until I prestige it. As I want to proceed this gun to uh, get the kill counter and all that stuff on it. And then we're probably going to swap to the Man of War. I think the next gun I'll probably start grinding out is the Man of War. Which is probably my second favorite gun. So my favorite SMG is definitely the VMP. And my favorite AR is definitely the Man of War. Um, I have yet to unlock the M8 so I can't really judge that. But the, the Man of War is pretty good. It's kind of a slow rate of fire. But like you can feel the bullets when they hit. Like it hits, it hits hard. Like if that makes any sense. Um, it kind of reminds me, kind of reminds me of like maybe the AN94 from Black Ops 2. 
Um, not exactly the same, but if I had to make a comparison, that's what I compare it to. Um, as of my special specialist, like, I've been having a lot of fun using the Tempest, which I don't, I don't remember the name of that specialist, but I've been using the Tempest. Oh, I think that's Prophet. Prophet uses the Tempest. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Or no, yeah, yeah. This same dude that uses Glitch uses the Tempest. I've been using him, and I've been using, um... Vision Pulse, which is by the same girl who uses a Sparrow. I'm not really sure the name of her either, which I do love Vision Pulse. I think Vision Pulse is actually good for every gang mode, but mostly useful in Surge, and Hardpoint for Breaking the Hill is very great for that. You just, you know what, let's, let's tag the enemies real quick, figure out where they're at before we make the jump into this hill. It has saved my life a lot of times on Hardpoint, so definitely, definitely. Definitely a very good choice in specialist. As of like other things I really enjoy about the game is the theater came back. The paint job. Yo, I don't know how many hours I have spent making paint jobs. Um, most of them I made on Xbox One. But I made a couple of nice ones. I might do a video showcasing them if you guys would like to see. As I have been quite creative with it. Um, emblem making is pretty good, and I I got to admit, guys, I have an addiction. My addiction is these supply drops. Like I'm I'm gonna get like all the good skins, and if you guys don't know how to get the crypto credits, which is what you use, the crypto keys, that's what you use to unlock the uh, the supply drops from the black market. Vendahar tweeted that you get a twenty percent multiplier every time you get a kill or every time you win the match so the more times you win in a row the more crypto keys you're gonna get so that that's a really good tip if you guys are out trying to get them uh them awesome camos and stuff for your guys's gun because i'm not gonna lie it is it is quite addicting um very very good very good job done by vondahar and treyarch here um, I've played zombies a little bit. I haven't really got too much into it. I think we did one round up to like 15, me, Nick, and June. And I played one time with Redneck and Roz, but we, we was just messing around. We played the campaign as well, but we didn't get past the first mission. It was like, it just wasn't, just wasn't us, I don't guess. Um, we will be playing that through though. I'll probably do a playthrough of that. Um, maybe... Maybe do a series on that. You guys let me know if you guys would like to see something like that. Um, what else can I say about this game? Now, the arena mode. I love the arena mode. The one thing I have had issues with, though, is as of right now, like, the team balancing is off, so you'll, like, get an arena mode, even in a party. Like, you can have a four-man party, and, like, they can go on the other team. Like, it's just dumb. And that's on PS4 and Xbox One. Um, Xbox One, we've been having a couple issues with the servers. Um, sometimes you'll come out of the game and tell you you're not even online no more and you are. And that's kind of annoying. Um, because I've been playing on both consoles, so. The PlayStation's definitely, definitely has the servers a whole lot better. We haven't had that issue at all on PlayStation, so that's nice. Um, what else about this game? Um, a couple things that I've noticed though since the beta is the fact that a lot of guns, I don't really think a lot of guns got nerfed. I think just more guns got buffed because the Razorback was the best SMG. I've yet to unlock it, but I did use it in the arena once. And it just doesn't, it just doesn't have that same, I don't feel like it has that same hit power, like that same way to melt and stuff. Yo, I, I definitely need to work on my actually there that's terrible um but it's definitely definitely like i said every gun in this game is very very usable the razorback's not bad it's just it doesn't it's not as op as it was in the beta in my opinion what else what else what else guys um this game like i said i rate it on a scale of one through ten i'd give it about an 8.5 at the moment with the chance at probably getting like a nine or nine and a half. But um I'd rank Black Ops 2 at like a nine, so I think I have a pretty good scale. 
the wall run in this game is a new dynamic. The water in this game is a new dynamic, and it does it does bring that fresh feel of Call of Duty to it. The jetpacks are okay. A lot of people didn't think they was gonna like it, but as you can see, I don't really use the jetpack that much. Like I stay on the ground for the majority of the game. Because uh, when you jetpack or you wall run, like you're really putting yourself out there a lot of times. I have tried jump shotting a few times and it is very effective, but you can't do it that often. So, and I've only done it on Xbox as well because I don't have the scuff on PS4, but we will be getting it soon. Hopefully we'll get some better gameplays. Um, but yeah guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. You guys don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Thank you all you guys for coming out checking my stream out. And I want to give a big shout out to all you guys who's came out and supports the channel. Every time I upload, you guys are there leaving comments. Let me guys know. You guys are just absolutely awesome. But yeah, guys, this is your boy Judd, and I'm out of here, guys. Peace.